Hello everyone, we have the situation by writing the tangent x in terms of sine x and cos x. Show that differentiate the tangent with respect to x is equals to second square x. So first, rewrite the situation where we have differentiate the sine x over cos x with respect to x. And let the sine x as u and the cos x as v. So meaning that we are going to apply the quotient rule. So differentiate the tangent and we will have v where we have cos x u prime where we have to differentiate the sine x and we will obtain cos x minus where we have u which is sine x differentiate the cos x and we will have bracket negative sine x over where we have v squared where we have cos x bracket square simplify the situation and we will have cos square x plus sine square x over cos square x by referring to the basic identity for the trigo as we all know cos square x plus sine square x which is equals to 1 so simplify the situation and we will have 1 over cos square x by referring to the trigo ratio as we all know 1 over cos is equals to second x so meaning that in here 1 over cos square x it will be second square x so differentiate the tangent x with respect to x and we will have equals to second square x Kindly refers to the question A. If y is equal to tangent x, find the second derivative in terms of y. Hence, determine the range of the value x such that the second derivative is greater than 0 for the domain is in between 0 to pi radian. So let y is equal to tangent x. Differentiate the situation and we will have dy dx is equal to second square x rewrite the situation actually the second square x is equals to second x bracket square kindly differentiate the dy dx with respect to x and we will have the second derivative kindly focus on the power and we will have 2 bracket second x to the power of 1 Differentiate second and we will obtain second x tangent x. Differentiate the x and we will have 1. Rewrite the situation where we have the second derivative is equals to 2 second square x multiply with the tangent x. Kindly refers to the basic identity in the trigo. As we all know, second square x is equal to 1 plus tangent square x. Multiply with the tangent x. And kindly refers to the situation where we have tangent x is equal to y. So the second derivative is equals to 2y multiply with 1 plus y square. Kindly refers to the question B. If y is equals to tangent bracket x plus y, find the dy dx in terms of x and y. Hence, show that dy dx is equals to negative cosecant square to alpha when the x and y is equals to alpha. So first, focus on y is equal to tangent with the angle x plus y. 
differentiate the situation with respect to x. So we will have dy dx. Differentiate the tangent. And we will have second square bracket x plus y. Next, focus on x plus y. Differentiate the situation with respect to x. So we will have 1 plus dy dx. Kindly expand the situation. So dy dx is equals to second square bracket x plus y plus second square bracket x plus y multiply with dy dx. Rearrange the situation and factorize the dy dx. So where we will have to transfer and dy dx bracket 1 minus second square bracket x plus y equals to second square bracket x plus y. Finally, the dy dx is equals to second square bracket x plus y over 1 minus second square bracket x plus y. So now we already settle dy dx in terms of x and y. So now we are going to show the dy dx is equals to negative cosecant square 2 alpha when the x and y is equals to alpha. So given the situation, x is equals to alpha, y also equals to alpha. So the dy dx is equals to second square 2 alpha over 1 minus second square 2 alpha. Based on the trigger ratio, Second actually is equals to 1 over cos. So we write the situation where we will have 1 over cos square 2 alpha over 1 minus 1 over cos square 2 alpha. Rewrite the situation and we will have 1 over cos square 2 alpha over cos square 2 alpha minus 1 over cos square 2 alpha. Kindly flip the situation and we will have 1 over cos square 2 alpha multiply with cos square 2 alpha over cos square 2 alpha minus 1. Simplify the situation and we will have dy dx is equals to 1 over cos square 2 alpha minus 1. As we all know, the trigo identity is sine square x plus cos square x is equals to 1. Rewrite the situation. Cos square x is equals to 1 minus sine square x. So, dy dx is equals to 1 over 1 minus sine square 2 alpha minus 1. Rewrite the situation and we will have 1 over negative sine square 2 alpha. Based on the trigger ratio, 1 over sine is equals to cosecant. So, in here we have negative cosecant square. 2 alpha for the dy dx. So kindly refers to the question and we have already shown the situation. So here we are and thanks for watching.